keep going. Establish that ground vector. It's a, it's a center to center connection. You keep keep pushing, right? And I don't want to disconnect my organization. You watch what happens before you get my balance. Go ahead and go. And you see how I started leaning like that, okay? So instead, as he goes, I just keep those corners there. Just keep them there, okay? And the second thing I'm going to do, you can keep it. The second thing I'm going to do is not just turn my body like that, okay? I'm going to take that energy and move it onto the back leg. You see that? A weight shift. You're pushing, and I go into a yang phase on the back leg. And that's what, don't keep pushing, okay? That, nope, you have to do the other hand, okay? That leg is what I turn, my whole leg, you see? So I'll do it differently. Do you see I'm broken here? Do you see that? And before I fall over, I turn my waist. And we're not gonna do that, okay? I, he's gonna push, I keep those four corner structure, go into a yang phase on the leg. You're pushing, and that's what he's pushing, and that's what I turn. Okay, go again, shoot, and pull. And then I want to time it with his push. You see how I did that? Okay, here I was showing his static, but when he comes to push, into the leg. Okay, well, let's try that. Go. Relax, less energy. Okay, let go. You're going to shift your weight onto the back foot so that the knee goes over the toes. Right now it's too far, not that far. Knees over toes is yang phase, okay? Go back, shift your weight forward. And then go again, knee over toe. And one more time, again. And keep this arch up, okay? Don't let it go down. All right, go back. And now when he, you're just gonna use one fingertip, when he pushes you, that's when you shift onto that spot. So we're going to go again. Pushes you onto that spot. Arch up. Don't let the arch keep in. Okay? Now we'll do it with the grip with a little less pressure. More pushes. He absorbs there. Okay? You can increase the pressure. And you let him push you into that. Nope. You brace against him. Let him push you onto that leg. More. There. And again, go. Cool. All right? So, I don't know if you saw, but, right, when it got really hard to push and you got tired and wanted to change arms, it's actually when I go to that yang phase. In here, it's kind of easy. You feel that? But when I go to the yang phase, boom, here, we're not going anywhere. Okay, you got it? So... You have to have faith in the yang phase, okay? Let him push you onto it and not you pushing back into him. Don't worry about one leg, that's just to make the point. Go back, shift, arch up, knee over toes. And again, push you into that stage. There you go. And now you turn him. Okay, come back. And we're going to do that all together. Pushes you, yawn, and now you turn. Okay? Let's try it again. Okay, so he pushes me onto that leg, and as I culminate that, boom, I turn him. Okay? We'll stay in the technique. Okay? Uh, what I do here is I create an entering angle. Do you see? So, 
If I let him shift to here and he stays here, it's not good enough. He has to pass to here. You see that? You get that? Okay. So he pushes, boom, walk. There it is right there. Now you can just walk into that angle, okay? Boom, there it is. And now you can just step into this zone. So let me have Tristan come so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, well, not enough. He's blocking my Edimi angle, okay? He has to come further. And now I can walk straight into this, do you see? And we're gonna just literally walk into it and stand there, okay? And he's in, whoa, whoa, there it is, right there. Okay, so he has to pass you, you understand? Not here, he is going to be behind me once I start turning, do you see? So, boom, pop. Past you, then you can just walk straight into that angle. Okay? I know that's not the technique, but we want to see that my whole body could fit in there. Okay? Let's try. So I go here, and I don't want him here because he's in my way. You see that? And more importantly for Tai no Henko, if I try to step behind him, instead of where he is now, this hand will come near my body. You see that? And now my deltoid is part of the fight and deltoids should never be part of the fight, okay? So he has to go past me, do you see? And if I can get the left shoulder in, I can always get the right shoulder in. So that's why we did that drill, okay? So now we're gonna go back to the right shoulder. Whoa. My right shoulder is in play, okay? And that's what I want you to think of. So the same homolateral shoulder, here it is. Don't step and crush your arm. Turn a little bit this way. Don't step and crush your arm. You're gonna step on the curve and your right shoulder is gonna go right behind his shoulder. Boom. Stay on the curve, and now our shoulders are matching each other. Can you see that? Do it again. Ooh. Stay on the curve. If he's there, when I enter, my shoulder will match his shoulder slightly behind it. Okay? Tristan. So, whoa. I'm going to put my shoulder right behind his shoulder. Whoa. On that curve. Focus on the shoulder, Ooh. without the arm collapsing, okay? So we know, boom, bring them past you, and then enter on the turn so your shoulder starts to get here, right? And first I'm gonna do the pull so you understand what I'm doing. Feel it in your fingertips, okay? You feel that pull? Okay. And then next I'm gonna do the twist that some of you are doing. That means your four corners are not organized, okay? So, why does it happen, okay? Let, let me use Tristan so you can watch it. Did you all feel it? It happens because when you're entering, you are double pivoting when you turn. 
where you're putting your foot here and your two feet are turning like this. You see? And now your axis of rotation is actually over here and it's not where the shoulder is. So your axis of rotation <coughs> is actually in front of him. Do you understand that? Sean? Okay, you guys got that? And that would have been like not entering at all. Once you start turning, and when you enter, you won't notice it. But when you start turning, it starts falling apart. Okay? So, we'll go at this angle. Please, over here. He comes in. I go to my yang state in the rotation. And it's from that yang state that this foot is not uh, double weighted. It's a single weighted foot until I come back onto it and go to a yang state in this foot. This means my knees are over my toes, do you see? So we'll just stay there. I'm gonna go one and two, and the rotation is on that foot now, not between the two feet, okay? So, yang, enter, and yawn again on that one foot. Ooh. Enter and yawn all the way onto that foot so you have a single pivot point on that one foot. Ooh. Like that. Ooh. Not like this. There's the gap. Boom. One foot. Single pivot point. Boom. Establish the single pivot point. That single pivot point. Boom. Double. Do you see? And now when you ten con, you're back in front of him, right? Single pivot point behind him. Single pivot point behind him. All of your ten con happens after the E. Boom, that's it. This foot now goes straight back. Does not arc. Does not twist. Okay? It goes straight back. All of the turns happen here. You're just resting there. Okay? Let's try it. 